Hello everyone, I'm Ewan, We're, you're here on Psychosonic Radio and I'm with the Jack Rabbit Slams, how are you guys doing? It's just Jack Rabbit Slams, no Jack, Jack Rabbit Slams. <laughs> <laughs> that is the... There's no other there. I'm here with Jack Rabbit Slams, I'm, I'm Adam, I'm there. No, you're not. <laughs> yeah, you're now the Jack Rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> Get a new banner and sort yourselves out. <laughs> no, me there. I'm here with Jack Rabbit Slams, how are you guys doing? Alright, man. Happening. Nothing much. So, you guys have a new EP coming out. Uh, what what has changed in this EP from all your other ones? What's different about it? Well, the only other one. Uh, Aye. <laughs> the only other one. Uh, um, I don't know. Uh, we've uh, definitely progressed in writing. Just like, just obviously getting comfortable with each other as you, you know, play with folk longer. You get more comfortable in that and just. Uh, Sean and Chris have had an input in lyrics on this one as well, which okay. always, uh, which was nice to have a hand in that respect. Then last EP that was just I uh, just sing whatever you want, um, but uh, I was not really trying to change up like our sound as such, but you know progressed it. Uh, just sound a bit more mature, just taking a bit more time writing stuff. Um, our producer Ryan said that he's noticed the difference sitting over there shaking his head as usual. <laughs> <laughs> he actually tried to go <laughs> shake your there. <laughs> okay, so you've you you moving forward with your style, you've sort of developing as musicians, really. Uh, de- yeah. just uh, developing playing each other. Uh, just obviously playing each other and everybody's everybody it was always a kind of split three way in the writing process anyway. Um mine was just a case of maybe spending a bit more time and a bit more meticulous with songs before we actually go into the studio. The last one, um it was a bit sort of like, right, we need to get something out just so we've got content. It's still good in that. Um, we'll just take a bit more time with this one. Definitely. Attention to detail and all that. Yeah. Yeah. Just kind of understanding each other better. Someone comes up with an idea and now we kind of can pick it up a lot quicker than at start. Aye. Definitely. Uh, what, what would you say is your sort of set recording process? Like what's... <laughs> different about usually <laughs> usually we come in with a song or well I'll rephrase that usually Rob comes in with a song and uh, and we fuck about with it a wee bit and then to be totally honest we, uh, we go to our main our main man Ryan to there so he can fix that bit make it sound better uh, well, I didn't come with a full song I'll come with a riff no. we'll build it up for that and then this time we sort of we go Four songs because we'd release one of them as like a sort of standalone single. Um, so that's going on the EP. So we got the four songs, went in uh, to the studio. Um, there's not really a process, I suppose. Any, I mean, the songs didn't change that much for the practice room to the no, studio. No, no, no. no they they just me a, basically take one at a time. Aye. Take oh. one song at a time, man. And then we were happy with it, we move on, and then we try and have. A good few songs before we before we record them, but do you want us to go more technical than that? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's there doesn't need to be more technical. It's like, yeah, I think you can, it's good to keep it sort of traditional. Way that's like how all bands used to go. Like I've got an idea, let's work on it together. Whereas lo- quite a lot of bands nowadays will write a riff and send it online and say, "Could you do your part to this?" Add a uh, bit to that and send it back and forth rather uh, than meeting up uh, and. Uh, when we're doing mixing, um, it's c- this, we're kind of mixing. Uh, whilst not being there, like, because Ryan will sit and fuck about with some ideas. If he maybe hears something, it can just be like, are we add in or see this bit here? Do you want to swap that with that bit? So we'll maybe go back in and change some stuff. But we'll just be connecting kind of over the phone, and uh, Ryan will send us stuff. Like, what do you think of this? That's really just for like basic mixing. Uh, usually, my comments back are turn my guitar up. It just gets fucking dingy. <laughs> I just get what Ryan's look. He's always excused that like when you mention something he just goes and you're like, <laughs> right, sorry mate, cool, just forget that. Forget I even fucking had an opinion, just think you want. <laughs> it's just a courtesy question, he only asks you just as a point. <laughs> you don't, I, don't that ask you right. <laughs> in Ryan's language when he when he mentions you saying, Does that sound alright? That's him saying that sounds that's alright, aye, that's, that's it done. done. <laughs> that's done. Aye. 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 <laughs> right, right, so that's it, cool. <laughs> so uh, what do you guys feel is key in a band for playing live? Uh, stage presence, man. It's all about the energy. When, right. you, when you're live, man, you get folks sucked in. 
Uh, your songs and the lyrics and everything, if you want to, like, I think you should say something worthwhile in the lyrics, but that's for when somebody's listening to the album. At the end of the day, regardless of what your fucking politics are, or what you're into, or what you're not, but try to change the world at the end of the day, and I like band, you like music, you're entertainment. Like, you no, know, do something, you know what I mean? Be entertaining. Like, you no, know, engage with an audience instead of just fucking, and you go and see so many bands now, and it's like, well, we're really sorry that you had to come out your way to come and see us. Um, I, to I us hope it's I hope it's no too much trouble to stand and put a pint in your hand and just listen to music. You know what I mean? But that's the kind of attitude everybody with this because try to get MD to come to anything involved with music hard, is hard. Unless you have a good stage presence, playing to everything. That's key. <laughs> yeah. that's key. You can't have that without liking the songs. It's quite important to that everyone contributes to the writing process, and so we all like the songs. So we love playing them live. And that hopefully comes across. Ah, definitely. Because uh, uh, you, you feel better, you feel more pumped playing something that you've you actually. Uh, uh, that you know, but something that you've helped kind of create as well, rather than just like say, I was just writing all the songs and just saying to Sean and Chris, like play this and play that. I uh, they might be into it, but it'll, their heart will be in it. Like it's the same as it is now because they're not as involved in it, or would uh, they be as involved in it as they actually are? You know what I mean? Yeah. Showing your passion. Showing uh, show your music. Definitely. Uh, how do you? Couldn't read your text. Sean, sorry. You write in a foreign language. Um, <laughs> 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 um, how do you write your music? What's your sort of? Oh wait, did, is that basically the same as the other question? How do you write your music? You go in and meet each other. Same question. Yeah. Right. Well, that's a good question. Um, most most important question: cereal or toast? Oh, cereal. Cereal, man. <laughs> Cookie crisps. Uh, totally. He doesn't Cookie. eat breakfast when I ask him. No, I eat cereal can. for lunch. Okay, so it's No, the rankings of the cereals go Cookie Crisps, um, then Cocoa Pops. Yeah, and every, every, like, I do my cereals on a rotation, so like uh, every, every, every few weeks I'll go on Frosties. Um, Mix it up. Uh, sometimes. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> sometimes Rice Krispies as well, but Rice Krispies and Weetabix as well, they have to be caked in sugar, like piled oh in sugar. I had Rice Krispies for second <laughs> lunch today, it was awesome. I totally went to shit on it all. Uh, you like the wheat bits get to that big, it's, it's not even cereal and milk, it's just, it's just a paste, the whole just fucking dressed in sugar. That's what I'm about, man. I like that. Uh, that's actually the theme for the new EP. Uh, yeah, if you listen. Subliminal messages, uh, selling Kellogg's brands. That's what we're about. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Cracker Jack was an obscure word for the the bits. Nah, I like Cracker Jack's a cereal. It sounds like a fucking cereal brand. That's what we're actually aiming for. We're hoping that this song hits the big time and Kellogg's are like Kellogg's. Cracker Jacks. No, no, Imagine no. the advert that. Like, rather grab a ball, Cracker Jacks. Fucking done, that's your marketing done. Done, the soaps. It's just that it's just each of you kicking up. Box of Cracker Jacks in slow motion just into the air. Yeah, you can imagine the advert like, we eat Cracker Jacks, yeah! <laughs> yeah totally. Just on the Saturday morning cartoons, man. Uh, that cereal was, <laughs> a, cereal was a passion of mine, sorry. As you can tell. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> right, um, If there was a, a man in a white van pulled up in front of you right now, what would he have to offer you to get in the van? Cereal. <laughs> <laughs> I like Sir. I see the one likes. Um right now, uh some of your equipment, I mean by maybe some of your equipment. I'm gonna get in these bands for not even a lot, man, a couple of pegs really. <laughs> <laughs> some drumsticks and a few cymbals. I I need to sell it fast. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Chris? What would a man have to offer you to get in his white van? I don't know. I need a new set of strings for my five string bass. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you, guys are, you guys are selling yourself really easily. Like. Uh, uh, if, there's any, if there's any managers out there that want to ruthlessly exploit us, just a bit of gear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> by here they mean by here they music mean music. Music. Uh, uh, music I'm music. just going to uh, confirm uh, that one so that I was in this band. Dogs are for mugs. Dogs are for mugs. Fucking Okay, and finally, have you guys got anything? Well, we know there's an EP on the way, but is there anything 
upcoming that you can tell us about that you've got any shows or anything else like that? Uh, we're, we're playing a festival in Air uh, on. Troon. Troon. Ah, Troon's in Air, is it not? It's two different airshow. places. Two different places, whatever. It's in the Air Show, it's two different right, places. Sorry, right, sorry, right. Sorry, Finna. I retract my statement. I start that one again, they'll get right. offended, that's it. Same time with a fucking plane, man. Live at Trin. We're playing live at Trin on the 8th of September, which is my birthday as well. Oh, fuck that. Yeah. What do you mean, is it? Oh, it's a. <laughs> and your birthday's the fucking on the plane. Alright, so we're playing that. Um, the main sort of concentration now is uh, finishing the EP. We've got one more song to go. Um, then we'll be releasing the first single pretty soon along with a new video as well which we're pretty excited about because it's going to look blasting uh, uh, excellent uh, it's been very nice speaking with you guys cheers now, uh, any last statements before you go uh, come see us it shows That's come good. see us like us on facebook on youtube for our site cause we don't buy likes uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Give you a pound a like. <laughs> right, cheers guys. Cheers, cheers man. Alright.